Hashi Shan has found his dream. What to do now? Party. Oh, uh, yeah. These chemist boys, huh? They've gone through a lot. Follow Master Hashi Shan. Well, first of all, the four muleteers, they're dispatched because now, like, they're work for full time. Hashi Shan. Uh, they got to go uh, four days, get uh, Omar Khayyam out of his love nest over there <clears throat> and uh, bring him over because it's a, a hard rock cafe situation, you know, a party. Okay. And what did they do at the party? Well, one reason they brought Omar Khayyam is because he's a master of Islamic algebra. Smart. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so they all get together. It's the main theme is party, uh, uh, in that, and, and that means smoke as much pot and hash as you can. <laughs> yeah, and so, stand up. Okay. Uh, yeah, they devise a system of ropes and pulleys with uh, thin ropes, but so strong. You know, hemp fiber reinforced with uh, tulip stalks interwoven. Have you seen the tiles in Istanbul, like at the Blue Mosque? Do you ever get out <clears throat> of the town you were born in? Um, well, look, at, uh, so they got the police going up. They make these hemp body baskets. You know, they're custom made to, sh to uh, fit the butt of each, you know, VIP. Uh, hoisty, hoisty up to the, yeah. Uh, and, okay, this is significant. I mean, there's like a, uh, uh, a major advantage, survival advantage to living that high and staying high all the time. I mean, my generation has proved. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember, actually. Uh, what happened? The mosquitoes can't breed. I mean, where I am here right now in, well, Hawaii, I guess you needed to know. There's mosquitoes, a lot of them. In fact, you'll probably see them flying across the screen. <clears throat> Better there than on my nose. There's a lot of factors that go into making one of these video clips, okay? <laughs> yeah, the main factor is that it's like, I have a lot of fun. Okay. Uh, okay, what's going on? Uh, yeah, so uh, Hashishan is successful. He is a private, impenetrable world uh, of his own, living in this gigantic rook in a chess set. Um, <clears throat> rook. Castle. Islamic chess set. Castle. Well, he's not Islamic anymore. He went post Islamic. Well, what does that mean? Well, he doesn't have a post office in his whole kingdom. You know, because uh, everybody just does things like in person. Well, it was a thousand years ago. So, you know, they didn't know any better. Um, you know what's really had been getting uh, him irritable <clears throat> was that Islamic call to prayer. Seemed like it was like five times a day. A guy up in one of those ah minarets <laughs> started shouting stuff at all the lower altitudes, and you now okay he abolished it. Uh, you, know, you can do whatever you want. It's, it's just uh, the Islamic law is not. Uh, uh, pertinent or, or applicable or yeah that was like uh, a big transcendent maneuver in the 11th century after the death of yeah he pursues what does he pursue he pursues growing his first crop of assassin hashish pursues hashish with a fanatical intensity, just as 
the secret must be in there somewhere. And Tantra. Uh, and he, he encourages. He makes it easy for, like, a silver platter uh, for his followers to also pursue hashish, assassin, marijuana, and sexual, as you can get, Tantra. Well, what the power base of his new kingdom, you might be surprised, but you do remember he was a university student for 40 years. So he loved books. He got hooked on an X-rated bibliotheque erotic. Uh, uh, because Omar taught that stuff. Turn down an empty glass. Let's fuck in the marsh reeds instead. You know, you went to college. Uh, yeah, so uh, the four muleteers, like, if they have any empty saddlebags, uh, you know, after doing the run for the golden goose, well, they don't say that in front of him. <laughs> Uh, you know, the four muleteers from Karamabad, well, they used to be from Karamabad. Visit Rash on the weekend. <laughs> Maybe Tall Breeze, if she was good looking enough. <laughs> he loads them up with books. And we're talking the most secret, erotic, mystical, mystatinical, in, 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 in large format, uh, a Javanese coffee size books. Especially the ones from Indonesia. Astro travel by Kublai Khan. And it was found in the hidden city. The hidden city. I'm not going to tell you where that is. Yeah. Well, what did they get from Tibet? You know, I mean, they they want a spiritual, like, extravaganza. Not satisfied, just fold your hands and be a good person kind of religion. No, they want to fuck all day long. All their tankas, when you get, you know, into the inner temple. <laughs> They're making love. We're talking Shakti. Belly dancing, naked, lewd, bold, <laughs> delightfully bold. Well, she just hops on Shiva, and what's he he up to? He's got a heart on like he never had before watching her breasts and mm -hmm. it works for him. She hops on, locks her legs around his back, and they go the back way. The tabu touch to Jalalabad, <laughs> where they uh, explode into a unified energy stream, smiling to the uh, ends of the universe. Fun. Fun. These books, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, he'd go in there, he would collect them, he'd curate them, he'd so he would sort them, and then uh, get back in his huge overstuffed uh, uh, chair and masturbate, which released him into thinking way beyond Persia and the culture he came from. Oh. He's out to get some a breath of air, and uh, he notices the young men from the valley below, the Elbers Valley, <clears throat> three kilometers north of Shuster Khan, the trading post of the former four muleteers of Karamanbad. Now they're the four sultans of, uh, if you want it from Gazvin, I'm your, I'm your mule. For for wealthy, aristocratic rock dwellers, you had to own your own rock by this point. I mean, you had, you had the rock. 
<laughs> and there are 50, you know, a little more light rocks, but in a sense, surrounding it, you know, eight mile circumference of rocks. What are they doing down there, those young men? They are, they are tumbling on the ground yeah, uh, 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 and doing backflips, hand to feet to hand to feet, and uh, mule tossing, <coughs> mule tossing. Yeah, the Azerbaijanis brought it into the Persian culture here in the Hidden Valley of Olamud. Seven generations ago. Where are they now? <clears throat> Dead. Malaria. In this place, before Hashishan, a bar of soap. A doctor who could cure malaria. Hard to find. Here out. In the middle. Now warriors, <laughs> even I, <laughs> and the crusaders are coming the other way. Assassins, crusaders, assassins, crusaders. <laughs> they love to fight, huh? It's like the Afghanis. They just like shooting people. I mean, it's like it's like target practice, isn't it? Yeah, you know, clay pigeon over here. You know, <laughs> over there he might as well. Uh, they're trying to attract the glance of the old man. It, it works, really. They're so amusing. You know, smooth, fresh, 17, 18. They've got all these village chicks, like all gaga in a circle around them. Yeah. Um, they want to be body basket up to top to what they heard. Some kind of Pleasure Meadow up there uh, and be accepted into his sect of the assassin. Power, Hazizana. Fame? Yeah. Rose Wiley. First marijuana crop successful, yeah. Cured, dried. And his chemists, devotees, those young Persians from the University of Gazvian, they make another double barrel of hashish oil. And you know what happened to the first one? They blew up Falcon's ancestral home. And what was sticking out the side? Mud? Melted mud, camel straw. <laughs> His marauders continue to plunder. Everything's plundered. Well, once everything is plundered, like, you know, four days in every direction, then he just gives everybody everything and recruits them all. There's no, long, no longer conflict. Yeah, they, uh, but beyond the Elbers Mountains, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. they bring back. So much treasure. Now everything. This is like a free world. You're free to think how you wish. You're free to indulge your sexuality. There's no slavery. Everything's voluntary. At first you were captured. Then you were drugged. <laughs> yeah. And then you saw the <clears throat> face of Hashishan and the light. And now you're a fearless and you are a micro sultan. You know, your mom knew you could do it when you grow up in Khorasan. <laughs> okay. Khorasan? Falcon? <laughs>